Hi, everybody. I realize I am blurry. There must be a problem with my camera. Sorry about that. Let's see if it fixes itself. Sometimes I need to put an object near my face. No? Hi, Roya. Hi, Romelia. Romelia, I got your email and I wrote you back. And since then, I haven't seen anything. I'll have to check. I'll have to check my spam, but I'll write you as soon as this live is over, I promise. I was wondering what happened to you. Hi, Sajib. I see that Vesna is in the Kahoot room in the lounge. So for anybody here who's new, hi, Vikas. Nice to see you. Um... For anyone who's new, you can go to the kahoot.com website or download the app or click the link in the live chat to get to the game. You may have to put in the game pin. It's up on the screen. I'll flash it on the screen as well. Okay, just let me share. Here we go. So there are four people waiting. I see all my advanced students here. Isaac, I don't recognize you or Toffee. If you're not advanced, if you don't consider yourself advanced in English, don't worry. You can write down the answers on a piece of paper. For every question, you have two possibilities as answers. So it shouldn't be too, too difficult. In the worst case, you just have to guess which one is right. So you have a 50-50 chance. Amelia has joined the game. The prize, as always, is a private lesson with me. That's something I also look forward to. Yes, that's my dog. He's joining us. He promised to behave. He may be making my picture look blurry. I'm not sure. Somebody is back. Hi, somebody. Somebody is a tough competitor. So everybody be careful. I don't know about phrasal verbs, though. If you're used to writing more in English, sometimes the phrasal verbs can be more challenging if you're not used to speaking. Yes, Romelia, I'm from California. I've been living in Austria for a long, long time, teaching English here, but originally from Northern California. I tried to avoid two American phrasal verbs, anything too regional, but I'll let you know if any of them are Americanisms. I know that Roya speaks a very good British English. Okay, we're gonna start now. Everybody ready? No more questions? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, blast off. Please listen to me. How else can you say it? Listen up or listen in. Yay, everybody got it. Listen up, listen to me. Listen in is also a phrasal verb. It's when you don't actively participate, you just listen in. So listen up means pay attention. Romelia, ooh, off to a good start, followed by somebody. If you are angry or have eaten too much, do this to feel better. Walk it out or walk it off.
Good. So if somebody has a temper or is about to explode because they're anger, angry, you can tell them to just walk it off. Walk off your anger or walk off being too full after eating. Thanksgiving dinner, some people like to walk it off. Somebody overtook the lead. If you want someone to leave you alone, do you tell them to back away or to back off? Two slightly different meanings. Back off. That means mind your business, back off. Don't get involved. Back away is if you're in a dangerous situation. If you see a bear, then you back away slowly. Slightly different meanings. Good, Isaac's in the lead and on fire. He's the Einstein this week. We always seem to get an Einstein. I don't know if you can choose your avatars. My friend is taking me to dinner to make out for or to make up for missing my birthday party. You can tell me if you know a synonym that has the same meaning. Everybody got it right. To make up for means to compensate. And Donald's in the lead. This is suspenseful. Every round has a new person at the top. This may be one you haven't heard before. If you have a lot of paperwork to do, do you wade through it or do you swim across it? It's tedious work. Good Romelia, make amends. That would be to make up for something. I need to wade through all this paperwork before I can leave the office. Do you remember the monkey? So if you go through water up to your knees, that's called wading, not swimming, but wading. And you wade through paperwork. You can wade through evidence. You can wade through anything that takes a lot of work, tedious work. Time for a poll. Which hobby would you rather take up? Take up a hobby. It's like adopt a hobby or to start a hobby. Most people would rather paint. What? More creative than active, I guess. This phrasal verb means you are not going to participate, at least for now. Hard pass, no thank you. I'll sit this one out or I'll stand this one out. I'll sit this one out. If you sit something out, it's usually used in sports if they play a round of sports and you're the one person to sit outside the game and not play, you sit it out. And it's a polite way to say, well, kind of polite, polite way to say you'll pass, that you won't accept the invitation. So we're going for coffee. Oh, I think I'll sit this one out. You can use it as a phrase. Someone got up the ranks a little bit. And Romelia still in the lead. Good job, Romelia. My dog is very uninterested in us. I need you to be patient with me. 
please bear with me. Please lie in with me. Hold your horses. Good, please bear with me. You've heard that one. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Romalia followed by toffee. Wonder who that is. Someone who likes sweets. If you write something off, you have decided it is valuable or unimportant. Two opposites, basically. Which one is correct? I've written that off. Unimportant. Good. I think I have a slide for you coming up. Donald reached third place. To write off means to dismiss something. Most people wrote off 2020 as a bad year or wrote 2020 off. I wrote her off when she told lies about me. To write a person off is pretty, pretty bad. It means they're, it's like they're dead to you. I wrote her off. I wrote the idea off when nobody showed interest. So it's not relevant anymore. Good job. To ride something out. Let me get rid of that banner. Good. Okay, if you write something out, it means you wait for something terrible to end. Not many points on this one. Okay, I have a slide for you. Toffee knew it. I don't know if you guessed that one. To ride out means you let a difficult period pass. You can ride out a storm. That's when you sit tight and don't do anything. You just wait for it to end. You can ride out a crisis. You can ride out a recession, okay? So it's when you don't panic, you just sit and wait for something to end. Write it out. Which of these would be the hardest to give up? You can give me an, a synonym for give up. Coffee, chocolate, or ice cream? Half of the people said ice cream. Only 33 said coffee, and only 17 said chocolate. I don't know which one I would choose. Indulge yourselves in the guilty pleasure. Good, Romelia. If someone causes you stress, you can say they are stressing you out or stressing you up, which is correct. Stressing you out. Good. Something stresses you out. There is no stressing up. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And to give up is to abandon something. If you ask my permission to do or have something, I may tell you to beat yourself up or knock yourself out. This one is probably an Americanism. Knock yourself out. Good job, Romelia. She got the correct answer in the comments. Knock yourself out means go ahead, do it. Be my guest, help yourself. Romelia took the lead. May I have a cookie? Knock yourself out. Go ahead. Can I wash the dishes? Knock yourself out. Go ahead. 
I had plans to meet a friend at five, but she never arrived. Did she stand me up or did she push me around? Both of these phrasal verbs mean something. They have different meanings. They both mean something. Very good. She stood me up. Yeah. You stand someone up, that's when they expect you to come and you don't. It's very rude. To push someone around, does anyone know what that means? <laughs> yeah, Romelia, playing hard to get, maybe. And to push someone around is simply to bully someone. Yeah, it's different meaning. Don't stand people up, that's not very nice. This means you succeed in doing something difficult or unexpected. You push it out or you pull it off. Push something out or pull something off. Pretty common one. You pull it off. You succeed. You pull it off. Sail through. Good, Romelia. Okay. And I have a few examples because it's used in different situations. Here are some things you can pull off. You can pull off a deal. That means you are successful. You manage. You can pull off a scam when you scam people. There's always a risk that you don't pull it off. So a bank robbery, they pulled off a bank robbery. There's always risk involved, right? You can pull off an election. So a lot of people were surprised that Trump actually pulled off the presidential election. Personally, I didn't think he could win, but he pulled it off. And you can pull off an outfit. That's when somebody wears something that's flamboyant or crazy, but it looks good on them then you can say they actually pull it off. Like if something's not very nice, but they pull it off and it looks good on them. The versatile one. If something pans out, it means it developed in a successful way. Is this true or false? So the literal meaning of pan out is what you see with this photograph, right? I mean, with this video, it's panning out. You can pan in, like zoom in, and pan out, it's like zoom out. And the other meaning is when something develops in a successful way. Great, Romelia. In the lead, things that can or can't pan out. Plans can pan out. So maybe you have specific plans. If they pan out, that means they happen. A career can pan out. Your goals can pan out. You act like you're my friend, but I know you don't like me. I see over you or I see through you. It means I recognize that you're being dishonest or I recognize what you are truly like. I see your true colors. I see through you. Very good, I see through you. Good, and Romelia, I want to pan out my C2 exam. I want my dream of passing the C2 exam to pan out. And Donald moves up. 
into fourth place. Third place, someone, second place, Toffee, and first place, Romelia. And I believe this is the last question. Wow. You're doing a great job. Adopting a pet is a big responsibility. You really shouldn't rush into it or hurry into it, which is correct. Rush into it, everyone got it right. Good job. Let's go to the podium. Someone, good job. Toffee, second place. And the grand prize win winner for the second time, Romelia, good job. Donald and Isaac have honorable mention, fourth and fifth place. Everybody did a great job. Romelia says she loves collocations. We should do those sometime. And Romelia, let me just put my Gmail in the comments so you can contact me again. But I have your email, so I'll be in touch with you. So we can do our lesson. And I was thinking maybe next time we can do something with pictures, like a picture reveal, something like that. My doggy gets the treat. Although he didn't do anything. Good. Thank you, everybody. Everyone did a great job. Keep practicing. You can rewatch it if you weren't taking notes. Maybe you can take no notes. You can write down a little booklet of phrasal verbs. Every time you learn new ones, you can add to them and review them and make your practice sentences. You can put them in the comments to any of my videos and I'll give you feedback. I'll correct you. Okay. Good. Thanks everybody for participating and I'll be in touch about next week. Take care. Hi, Vikas.